Welcome to the CMI Silent Museum! First, we will be discussing beliefs. Our first piece of art is entitled, Children Own Their Own Knowledge. We would like to point out here that children and teachers both help each other to learn. Our next display is entitled, Children Have a Natural Curiosity. As you can see from this display, children love to explore and to figure out the world around them. The next belief in our museum is that questions are powerful. Questions are what help our students to learn and to become learners in themselves. If you move along in our museum, our next section is entitled Knowledge. You will see our first very important display is entitled Most Authentic Knowledge Comes Through Problem Solving. Be sure as a teacher that you know how to problem solve so that you can help your students do the same. The next piece of knowledge that you will need is knowledge about developmentally appropriate practice. As you will each be doing teaching in various classrooms and with different ages, be sure to know where your students are, cognitively, physically, etc. Lastly, you will need a knowledge of CMI. As you can see from our models, CMI is very important for classroom instruction in mathematics. Our last section is entitled Practices. These are things that you will need to implement as you practice the CMI framework. First, supply with materials and resources. Be sure that your students have the correct and adequate supplies and materials so that they can be successful in their mathematics inquiry. Next, be sure to implement multiple strategies and accept multiple ways of solving a mathematics problem. You will need to be sure that your students recognize that there are many ways that they can solve CMI mathematics problems. Lastly, you need to be sure that in your practice of implementation of CMI, you emphasize the why behind why we do mathematics. It is very important that your students understand where the numbers come from and how these processes are evolving. <laughs>